সততা চাদর দিয়ে মানব প্রতিষ্ঠান এটিএমস person in the country and I don't really perceive success is something that people really want, should want. Um, success to me is something different. Uh, what people think that you, have, you should have a lot of money, you should have a lot of wealth, things and all, you should have fan following and all, you have a uh, brand, you know, car, or you were someone living in an apartment there's uh, more than 2,000 square feet or something like this. It doesn't make sense to me. Success to me is something that well-being, happiness, yes. and how will you start going ahead? What I mean is something, choose work that you love, and never have to work it in life. I never sit, I never say I'm saying, I'm sorry. I never says behind success. But success, I don't know, somehow came to me. So it something means to me is that success is something, yes. the work that you're doing passionately and the work for the people that you're doing are, to be honest, you know, the things I'm doing yes. are for the people. And what are the, the things I'm doing? Uh, pointing something that really should or must help people who are seeking for information or seeking the assistance. Yes. So that's the first thing that I do. So I never think of money. I never think of... Okay, as we know, sir, you are totally different from others, sir. As I, to be honest, entirely different uh, from what people say normally. What I believe is wealth is not the thing, or asset is not the thing, money is not the thing yes. that can give you a boost or a better life. It's been something since the antiquity, uh, in other words, I would say it's been around two and a half thousand years. A question that people have been asking themselves, what it means to lead a better life, a good life. Yes. To me, to lead a good life is something to work for people who are in need. So that's what I think, I believe. And that's how it comes. <laughs> yes, that's make it a little different from others, sir. Yeah, Alhamdulillah, and Alhamdulillah, I truly am happy. Uh, to a great extent, I'd say, uh, compared to many people who are rich, who are, to be honest, in the wealthiest income bracket, and none, but I am, to be honest, happier than many who are in the top income bracket in the country. Alhamdulillah. 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 Sir, uh, another question, sir. Uh, why are you popularly called HM, sir? It's another thing that I have to answer. Uh, many times people ask me actually why you are called this. Uh, the first thing I would say, uh, it's been 17 years almost. 17 years? Yeah. Uh, it's, yeah, it's been almost 17 years I would say since I started my career teaching IELTS and shaping people's career, you know. Many people ask uh, me to um, promote their level of English and I mean good life and all. What happened to me is uh, when I led a company, you know, that for more than a decade, yeah. a big company, yeah, I ran it for, and I just, I mean, thrived for something, you know, a good brand. And I ran the country in the domain of IELTS. What happened to me is something that when I see, some of the students are really very weak in English. Yes. Asking for assistance, having high desire, dream. The dream of a human being somewhere, they never thought about. But this is only the thing that I believe, IELTS, which really can miraculously or they can really boost a student to a great extent within a short span of time. That's what I did. Yes, and in that regard, when I started teaching, you know, people started saying to me, ATM sir, 
they call it, it started calling me ATM sir instead of saying ATM Mahmoud sir. Yes, sir. So I am uh, in a, with a big name, yes. ATM Mahmoud. Yes. That's what my profile name in my Facebook. But uh, to be honest, when people said to me, or they just started calling me ATM sir, I really feel good. Or something like, you know, it has something love and passion or something belief in it, tenet uh, in it. So uh, I really popularly uh, became the word ATM sir, or I mean ATM Mahmoud. And uh, when they come to me and ask for some help like IELTS or studying abroad, spoken, boosting their career and all, they come to me saying ATM sir, ATM sir, ATM sir, ATM sir. Every word you see written ATM sir. Even on Facebook, in many posts, you know, they ask me some, you know, queries, something with ATM sir. So that's how, over time, uh, ATM Mahmoud turned ATM sir. Okay, sir. <laughs> Uh, another question, sir. Uh, what made you establish ATMs? It's a question of something. Intricacy, honesty, and on top of everything. I want to do something for people before I breathe the last. I had worked for a company. You know that um, it's been long since I started my entrepreneurship. It's almost I mean, around four years. Before that, I had a long journey of working for some other countries in home and abroad. You know that I studied abroad, I worked for some company and some of the companies are really multinational. I had opportunities to work for many companies and I, to be honest, to some extent, I made some companies to help it grow far and further and I, uh, I should not say actually myself, I, we together built a company, I would not say the name, uh, that, uh, you know, that I used to be the CEO of a big company, national ad company in the country. I have worked for 12 years there, so 12 years, 12 years. it's a long journey. It's a long journey. It was a tiny, I mean, not that big company, it was a kind of tiny company, a small company, kind of scale of company. When I joined, it had uh, worth of something, I would not say, I mean, around 10 million or above. And I turned, or something, you know, it turned into uh, some, you know, 100 million worth. 100 so, million. Yeah, you that's what it times. is. 10 times or, or even more, even more, I would say. So it really happens sometimes when I feel I just made a lift in the particular company that I worked for. The organization was not so. I initiated so many things and brought some changes into it that it really definitely needed the most at the time I just I mean, took, uh, I shouldered it up on. Okay. And I, I was given some of the opportunities that, you know, in Bangladesh, you know, people don't believe in uh, themselves and you know, with, uh, with some of the area they work for with uh, pressure, with stressful job and all, with full of passion, integrity and the company I led as a CEO, uh, the longest time EDN CEO together, I really, I mean, made it a lift to some extent to some height. People really were astonished to see the lift, how it could be. So if you are good, you can make, really, you can help a company yes. to a great, ex great extent or to a large scale. But you cannot take an organization to the next level. So the idea is, take the organization to the next level. It had never really thought to be so. So what I just do, whatever the other thing I do, I believe that I have some tenet in me, philosophy, some belief, confidence, courage, and on top of everything said, honesty. That really help an organization to work for and to make to the next level. And that's what I did.